today I'm going to be working on Entanglement, which is a cool project between myself and some other producers, um, kind of like-minded producers. We've done a couple of these already and they're awesome. I'll link in the description uh, some real wild music. It's kind of us kind of flexing and just having the good time and trying to make the strangest stuff we can. Uh, so this one, I believe, this track that I'm about to work on was started by Spoonbill and Mr. Bill. And Mr. Bill reached out to me and Circuit Bent saying, do you guys want to get involved? And we're going, fuck yeah. So Jesse's kind of taken it over and he's done a little bit of work on it. And then I've just been handed a whole bunch of stems and bits and pieces. So I'm not actually too sure what I've got, but I do have this mix down, which Jesse rendered for us. So let's have a listen to start off with. Yeah, I like pies. <laughs> Yeah, I like pies a lot. Super cool. So quite a lot of cool ideas already. And I've had a few myself as well. But <clears throat> I think we're going to spend the first video at least just kind of getting all the bits and pieces together and seeing what's what and seeing what's good because I've been given two folders. Uh, we have this one, Mr. Boonspill Bits, and this one, Mr. Spoonbill Stems. Kind of looks like this one was the original idea. And then maybe Mr. Bill has gone and done a bunch of stuff. And this last wave here is what Jesse has done. There is a README. Um, everything in the sidechain folder needs to be put in a single group that has a MIDI triggered volume shaper on it. The kick and snare MIDI file could be used as a trigger for said MIDI trigger volume shaper. All other files, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's a good little guide there. Um, let's go ahead and chuck these in. So let me just get rid of the EQ8. And where's my folders at? We'll go for this one first. So I'm just going to drop them all into their own audio track for now. Import tempo and time signature data. Oh, it's because we've got the MIDI thing. I guess we do import the data, right? Ah, no, we don't want that. Where is the time sig change there? So we'll get rid of those. Um, yeah, so these say 145, so I'm going to guess the BPM is 145. And these should be warped to 145. So a bit of, bit of houseworky stuff just to start off. Always drag the start point out, holding the shift key. 145, it looks good. And this is wrong. Drag that out. So they should all finish at the same spot. Let's just have a listen. And just to be safe, I'm going to make these re-pitch mode. Okay, so we basically just have a drum beat. Oh, and we have the sidechain folder. Okay, so this has a bunch of other clips in it. Gnarly bass, rhythm bass, sub vox, whale farts. <laughs> okay, so this needs to go into another track. Um, like so. And, well, let's just group them straight away. We'll do what the readme says. So, 
and these will have to be 145 as well so warping's all weird 145 good 145 good see that one the start point was wrong so I guess yeah this is my process I go through whenever I get sent stems uh, especially if things aren't terribly organized it's nice that this had a readme file but you can also just talk to the person okay so this Okay, let's have a listen now. Okay, so it says this needs to have a MIDI triggered volume shaper on it. I'm guessing we can just throw a, a compressor on there for now. And that needs to come from kick and snare midi file which is here so we'll just go sidechain trigger and yeah let's just take the trigger from this um, we'll just throw down an operator to generate some white noise no tail and send it to just sends only so it doesn't play anything and then we can take the sidechain from it here input from SC trigger yeah, I like pies. Yeah, I like pies a lot. Imagine this starts here. Okay, I'm going to group these into a group. We'll call this, um, what were the names of these? Mr. Spoon, oh fuck, I'll just say, I'm just going to call it one for now. And then let's get the rest of the files in. It's a, it's a funny game with these kind of collabs because um, at the moment it just sounds like people are throwing down ideas. No one's really committed to doing a structure yet. Eventually again, it's, it's going to get to a stage where we're going to need some sort of structure. I might end up doing it, I'm not sure. So these are all the other files here, which look a little bit... I don't really know what these are, but we'll have a look. Let's solo them. Let's play them all together. Just going to put a limiter on the output. I will bring the levels down in a minute. Is that the same as this? Okay, so I believe in the render, all this stuff sort of starts when that part finishes, which is over here. Make sure I drag everything right. Okay, and we need to get Jesse's synth in, so I'm just going to call that 2. And new audio track for Jesse, which is this one. Um, again, we'll make it 145. Let's just put this at the start. So this is the start point here. Maybe it does start here because we've got that little lead in here. So, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's kind of organized. Um, 
I just want to have a quick little jam before I finish this short video. Just on something. Let's find a loop. <laughs> Let's just drag that out. Let's get Jesse's synth up over the top of it. Um, we'll take take these eight. Let's loop it. Let's find a key and let's just have a little play. Otherwise, I've turned my webcam on for nothing. So, um, are we, Steve? So it's an E. Uh, I am going to bring everything into C, just so it's a little bit easier for me to jam on. Let's bring the volume down a little on this. It's a major. the major seventh. it there and I'm just going to keep jamming in the next video and find a cool little thing. What I'm thinking is um, everything's really quite busy so I'd quite like to um, straight away kind of come up with a new section that is a little bit more chilled and laid back maybe have a bit of a chord change I was thinking that it's so just a major seven down a semi uh, two semitones to another major seven which uh, it's a bit overused and I've done it a few times before but anyway tune into the next one